Welcome back to the Game House Overwatch Recap. We hope you've been gearing up for a stage full of excitement and surprises, because it looks like stage two is taking things to a whole new level. Dynasty vs. Valiant, 4-0. The first match of the night was between the Soul Dynasty and the Los Angeles Valiant. Map 1 was the introduction of Volkskaya into the league, as well as somber action from Valiant's Unko. Dynasty went on attack first and pushed their way to two points. The Valiant did not have as much luck on their attack, with the Dynasty holding a strong defense that prevented them from gaining any points. Soul started the match off with a strong statement, winning map 1. Nepal was the name and control was the game for map 2. Dynasty grabbed Shine fairly quickly, but some strong plays by Agility's Genji and Fates Winston helped the Valiant gain some ground. However, Dynasty was able to snatch it back and hold it into taking point A. Sanctum saw a similar situation with Dynasty managing to eventually take point B and map 2 in overtime. Map 3 took us to King's Row, and with it, another dominant attack from the Dynasty. The Dynasty pushed themselves to get all three points, making the Valiant's last attempt at gaining an advantage in the match a daunting task. The Valiant did manage to grab themselves two points, but ultimately lost the map and the match in overtime. The final map of the night was Route 66. And with it, came another victory for the Dynasty. The Valiant were unable to grab any points, with the Dynasty managing to grab two for themselves. With all four map wins under their belt, Seoul Dynasty sent a message to the rest of the league. Whether or not this apparent comeback will last is uncertain, but what we do know is that we'll be following them closely. Fuel vs. Dragons, 3-1. Second match of the night featured the Dallas Fuel and the Shanghai Dragons. Map 1 was a return to Volkskaya, and the first appearance of AKM, one of the Fuel's newest DPS players, as a competent Soldier 76. The Fuel were quickly able to grab both points on their attack run, and put up an impenetrable defense blocking the Dragons from grabbing either point in their attack. The Fuel take a commanding lead of the match with Map 1. Nepal saw the beginnings of a comeback for the Dragons, with them grabbing both points from the Fuel and gaining a bit of ground. Unfortunately, the fuel were on fire. Dallas was just as capable of stealing points back and prevented Shanghai from both Village and Sanctum. One could argue that one good map does not mean much in comparison to the overall performance of a team. No one can deny that Hollywood was the map that showed the potential for the Dragons in this stage. While the fuel were working AKM and laid a rascal this first night, the Dragons have yet to unleash their new players, and with that we could very well see more maps like this one, with the Dragons pushing themselves to a much needed win over the Fuel. Map 4 the match took place on Route 66, and coming off of a loss, the Fuel unleashed Rascal, previously of the London Spitfire. Rascal came out and proved he was at one point a member of the most dominant team in the league. His plays as Genji and Soldier 76 were hard to look away from and served as the highlight of the match. A newly invigorated Fuel came back from the previous map and defeated the Dragons three maps to one. Gladiators vs. Shock The last match of the night was another battle of Northern and Southern California. The Los Angeles Gladiators took on the San Francisco Shock. Map 1 was another introduction of a familiar face. Fisher took the stage as a newly minted Gladiator, cementing his departure from the London Spitfire. The setting for the map was Hanamura, and from the get-go, both teams came to fight. The first round found both teams grabbing two points apiece, but the next round was not so even. The Shock managed to grab a third point, but the strong defense from the newly united Gladiators kept them at that, making their path to victory all the easier, giving map one to the Gladiators. Map two was the third appearance of Nepal of the night and another reminder of how different gameplay and character selection will be from Stage 1. Throughout the night, Lucio was a common support theme, and Soldier 76 could be seen dealing a great deal of damage. The Shock took Village in this control map thanks to a great Soldier 76 from Baby Bay. Unfortunately for them, the Gladiators overpowered any further efforts they had, taking Map 2. King's Row saw some great action from Fisher as Winston. The Gladiators breezed into three points and turned that energy back onto the Shock. 
giving them a huge fight for even a single point. The Gladiators took the map and the game, but as always, a final map remained. The last map of the night took place on Gibraltar, and it was no surprise that the Gladiators took the win. Los Angeles grabbed the second sweep of the night with a decisive performance, proving their endurance to be too strong on defense and holding the shock to one point, unable to beat their two. Thanks for joining us and recapping the first night of Stage 2 of the Overwatch League. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, from our house to yours, keep it here at the Game House for all your sports and esports news.